Welcome again to Nourish by Spinneys. I'm Devina Devecha. And I'm Tiffany Eslik. Last week, I spoke to Chef Yanel Katao, who told me about the concept behind Garbu and what they're looking forward to as they open up the full restaurant at Tashkil in a couple of months. We also spoke about Garbu's supper club menu, which I was able to try before our conversation with him. And you had a favorite too, right? The paratha and kebabs? I mean, I did share a disclaimer that I will always have room for dessert. But yes, from the rest of the menu, that was definitely a favorite. And for today's bonus episode, Chef Yonel tells me about some of the inspiration and the ingredients behind all the courses they currently have at the Supper Club. The Supper Club had eight courses, yes. right? Um, but obviously the menu at the restaurant is going to be a lot more. Um, can you talk me through kind of what we can expect from the full menu and maybe even like Tell us a little bit about what we had at the supper club uh, because I couldn't stop eating at one point. I had to tell everyone, just give me a few extra minutes. I will finish this dish <laughs> because I need to finish it. It's so good. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah. <laughs> um, when it comes to the food at Gerbo, for example, during my journey, yeah, I discovered something that not a lot of people know about here in Dubai. It's something called the Quranic Park. Yes. If you guys haven't been, it's an incredible place. And for example, it's... It showcases uh, indigenous ingredients and also ingredients that are found in, in the Holy Quran, which was something very special to us because it also speaks to religion and tradition. And also, um, we try to use farm to table as much as possible. We try to always question, what else can I do with this? Or at the moment in here, obviously this is a small kitchen setup. So when we will move to Gerbu, this we, we will, actively pursue to have to limit our wastage and limit our footprint the food has um first of all we try to source as much as we can yeah um we are at our start of the journey but we do start we do try to source as much as we can from the local suppliers is something very important not just when it comes to the food but as i said yeah. the interior design everything is, is is made here in the uae from the table chairs artwork um and the food we want the kind of food people enjoy to eat. Mm. It's not is in no way pretension, but it has a twist because um, we have an international team that are people from very different backgrounds, and we want to put those touches. But the food has some beloved Emirati dishes like the chicken matchbus, yes. the the, the kamir bread made by yes. by Sahar, and and the dessert, and a lot more surprises when the yeah. <laughs> the the restaurant will open. But also has, because Dubai is a melting pot yeah. of cultures. And in some ways, we try to reflect that throughout the food because of the um, of the relation Dubai has throughout the entire Arab Peninsula yes, or yeah. with India. Um, we try to showcase those. So we do have also those influences in the, in the menu. Um, our... Right from the start, like you mentioned, uh, we welcome you with the broth, which is a compost yes. broth. Um, it was a brainstorm of ideas, and then we we decided to make a compost broth out of leftovers, basically, that right. they are discarded in the kitchen, and to open your appetite. And then the, the main board was, uh, it's, it was made by us in-house, by right. Tashkil, and it's our logo. Yeah, it's So it's beautiful. something that you will see, it, for example, behind you the board and yes. the the coasters that were on the table yeah. and all this is something that uh, we are very proud of and we wanted to to use for example things that people know and people love mm. but add our own twist yeah and also to uh, for example from leftover bread mm. we wanted to see how can we utilize that because often gets discarded or just made into breadcrumbs and yeah. that's about it uh, so we wanted to find the um, almost a delicious way how to utilize it. So it's how we came up with the idea to create a yesterday bread cracker. I, I will have to say I had to stop myself like physically and mentally from eating more of those because I knew more dishes were coming yes. <laughs> because it was, yeah, it was delicious. It was so, so nice. It starts from the farmer. It starts from the mm. supplier that we got those beautiful mushrooms from. And as I said, then we we we... It's actually a long process because we first make a, a broth and then we create a paste for the cracker. We dehydrate it for 24 hours and then 
we deep fry it and yeah. then we make our spice blend called Suneli Puneli. Yes. Which is uh, blue fenugreek from Georgia. Yeah. Um, because we wanted to, to find different spices along the, the entire spice route, not just something um obviously we use a lot of spices from the spice soup yeah but we wanted to also see how we can complement in our own like house spices yeah um the cabbage the cabbage is the sip the it's simple in appearance yes but it's a lot of hard work yeah because um we we take a variety of cabbages and um some we brine And we poach and we barbecue on the grill. Um, from the normal white cabbages, we ferment for six weeks. Yeah. And that is only one part of the many parts of the sauce yeah. that, that you had. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. There was a lot, uh, but it all just it, worked. It, together, yes. And, um, and then we, we finish the sauce with labne, which, again, everyone loves in here. So it's, there is no weird combination. It's just... We wanted to put our own twist yeah. into into the food, and at the end of the day, it was cabbage with feta and labne and dill. So some all things that people love. Yeah. But we added our own identity and our our own touch to it to this. Also, for example, it has no wastage. This is yeah. uh, throughout the dish. Um, and then our um, labanajan. Yes. The, we were inspired by Mamba Yaldi. But we wanted to to also do our own take on this. Mm. So we slow cook lamb with dates and we have a bizarre spice um, blend yeah. made in here in the house yeah. um, that we, we slowly cook it for 48 hours. So it's a very long process. Wow, yeah. And um, uh, we, we braise the aubergines and then... For example, the team behind you are actually working hard now to to slice all those beautiful crispy things that you have on top of ah, like the, okay, the yeah. shallots, the leeks, the tagarashi. <laughs> yeah. So it's a lot of knife skill and a lot of like skill in itself Patience. to to show. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think it complements because it's, it tells the story of the um, of the produce found in here in the area. I think it tells it beautifully. And then. We have a panir pakora. Panir is beloved by everyone yeah. in here. Everyone is loved. And uh, also chickpeas are something that everyone, that are, are found in so many dishes in here. And we wanted to see how can we, how can we play with, with, um, with these things. And so we created a panir pakora with um, almost like a shata sauce. Yeah. It's our own take on shata. It's a lot more complex in flavors. Yeah. Um, and then from the vegetables and fruits available, we wanted to, um, because obviously chickpeas and the beetroots we use are quite earthy and the paneer and akawi bring a certain creaminess mm, to, mm, to the dish mm. and obviously the, the spice and leave and everything, but we needed to, to cut that through. So that's why the, um, we added the, for example, the pomegranate for yeah. the local touch and the, the the cabbage again from the from the wonderful suppliers we had and the cherries and from all those streamings we have created a this almost like a red salad salt yes um and the dressing so like this um um everything is used but more importantly everything comes together beautifully so everything has a reason there is nothing on the in that dish Everything on the dish is there for a reason because yeah. it belongs there and, and, and it serves a pur purpose of freshness. Or Yeah, I think with that as well, I tried it first without the dressing and yes. the salt. Then I put the dressing, yes. I tried it again, then I put the salt yes. and tried it again. Yes. And I said, okay, yes. now this it made sense because yes. I just wanted to see what it was like without yes. and compare it with. Yes. Yeah, like you say, it it made sense. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it's good for us because from for the team, they get to see new things or yeah. it, it challenges us how to utilize, you know, things, for example, you know, we had a little bit of cabbage or for example, the pomegranate, um, the skin, yeah. everyone throws it in the bin. Right. However, it's full of vitamins and antioxidants. So from a health benefit, the pomegranate skin, it actually has so many benefits. So mm -hmm. we wanted to see how can we utilize Use that? So that how can we not only from, um, sustainability mm. point of view but mm. from a uh from a from health benefit and it was 
I, th I think it, it, it showcases in, in this beautiful dish. Um, your next course was prawns. The prawn, yeah. Um, we are very fortunate that uh, just across the, the window we have um, just a small preview of what our garden will look like. So because we have uh, different herbs, including our za'atar, yeah, uh, we wanted to to really highlight this beautiful thing. So the prawn, um, because we bar we marinate it into a, a za'atar marinade and we barbecue it, mm, mm, mm. Uh, we wanted to to balance the sweetness and the charness of the prawn, right, uh, with the freshness of the za'atar and the, yeah, the beautiful yeah. floral aroma. Mm -hmm. So we have created, uh, we did. Zatar in different ways. For example, we did the zatar oil. Yes. And then we have created um, almost like a gremolata, but it's a lot more complex because we add nuts and we add um, almost like a burnt onion dressing inside. Right, yeah. Um, and a lot of fresh zatar. Mm -mm. And we, instead of adding regular oil, we add zatar oil to, again, to lift that dish even further. And then we make also a zatar sauce, and together, even if it sounds zatar on zatar on zatar, they work very well together because they they bring different things to the mm -hmm. to the dish itself. And uh, um, we know it's normally we it's something that people they are very surprised yeah. that that it it works so beautifully and it doesn't get any more fresh than this. Like yeah. we literally every single time we we prep the dish, we just go. During the day, we we take it from there, and it gets prepped immediately, and is presented for uh, for our guests yeah. in here. Um, chicken matchbus. This is a it holds a very special yeah place for me because uh, not only that is beloved here in 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 the Emirati, it's a, it's found in every household. Mm. It's easily be rec recognizable by yeah. everyone, but uh, for me, it's very special because actually it's, it was one of the dishes I did on my trial. Oh, really? Okay. And, and to me, like, I, I I still remember I was, it was, I never heard of it first and I never made it before. Okay. And it's, it's my first time. I said, I'm not sure because there was a lot of powerful flavors inside. I said, obviously to balance them well, I said, it's a skill on itself. So I said, uh, so it made me very nervous. And uh, um, after everyone loved it and I, I, it was, as I said, for me, it holds a very special um it has a very special meaning yeah um and then ever since i came in here i had the opportunity to try various uh various matchbooks mm -hmm. and um we wanted to not to change it because mm. people love it just the way yeah, it is yeah but do our own take on it for example we wanted to traditionally Chicken matchbus is served with cachumel salad, yogurt, and achar. Yeah, the pickle. I was going to ask. Yeah, tell me yes. more about that. Yeah, but the the people uh, the pickle, as far as I know, um, in different houses they they make it quite differently. Some yeah. people prefer a tomato pickle or an onion pickle or um, like a mango pickle. So we wanted. Um, it actually was a long journey for yeah. me. It's I haven't worked with achar before. Okay. So achar was a, a brand new thing mm -hmm. for me to 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 learn about. And we have done almost a few months of testings, wow. a char over a char over a char, and to see where are we happy with the with acidity, with the spice levels, with uh, the the crunchiness of the vegetables and all of this. And we wanted to. Um, we recently we finalized the recipe and we were so happy with it. I mean, it worked. Like I have to say, a lot of us around the table we yes. were tasting that yeah. um, on its own, and it was just fabulous. So. You nailed it. <laughs> That's <Thank> fine. You. <laughs> Thank you. Also, I think it, it serves the purpose because mm. the 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 that char brings a heat level and a spiciness yeah. and the vibrancy yeah. to to the matchbus and also the kachumber, yes. which again from from the farms and we we make a dressing and it's very acidic and we we season it with sumac and I, it's. It's there for like it, yeah. every, all of those elements that are there, and I think it complements very beautifully um, the dessert. Uh, the dessert uh, made by we are very fortunate that we work with Sahara. With Sahar. Uh, it's this is her creation, including the Kamir, but also she has helped me a lot during my time here because 
uh, not only that he's extremely talented, but because we are very different people with very different backgrounds, we come ex- exactly those differences is what makes us work so well together yeah. because we bring very different things to the table. And then in the end, we manage to surprise ourselves with with ideas we 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 come with. I remember during the our testing period, yeah, we have tried some ice creams, and Sahar would say, "Oh, I like this. Add more cardamom." And then I've tried it again, and I would say, "Add more lemon." And then she would say, "Add more something else and something else." And then at the end, we were like, "How? Wow. Yeah, okay. This is like wow." So that that is what that I think it makes the. Uh, my relationship with Sahar very different, and we are very fortunate to to have her on board. Um, the the sago it's a uh, it's her take on a on a beloved dish in here, the tapioca pudding, and um, uh, we do a sauce anglaise with habat hamra, the 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 local basil seeds, um, that complements beautifully and almost adds a um, a very unique flavor profile to the to the pudding itself. So it's it's baked just before serving so it's um it's warm it's comforting it's yes um it's almost like a hug like it just it gives you that that sort of like home feel um about it it's uh it's it's really delicious like what was your favorite oh um okay so from i mean dessert is like a separate category for me because i can be however full if i like the dessert you know that's a special like thing uh but from the rest of it i am going to say oh you know the the paratha and the kebabs we had outside yes. in the yes. barbecue that it was just like the the blend of the the paratha with the meat with like the onion and all of that together yeah. <laughs> <That's> Plus, <good. laughs> I, I think it breaks the, the meal very nicely because yeah. like for example, black lime was something that mm. I haven't used a lot before. And when I seen me here that people use it in so many dishes and it's used in every household and you find it in every market. Yeah. You go to the spice soup and it's everywhere. And even through the tourist areas, you, you find it. And we really wanted to showcase this. And Definitely. it's actually like one of my favorite ingredients. So uh, It just added a whole other... It was great. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. No, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this bonus episode of Nourished by Spinnies. I'm Devina Devecha and we'll see you again next week with a new episode.